It is a Russian-made combat and close air support helicopter, single-seater in the case of the K-50 and two-seater in the K-52, with the distinctive feature of a coaxial rotor system typical of the Kamov manufacturer in which its two rotors spin in opposite directions. The chief designer of the project, Sergei Miev, tried to design a powerful Sturmovik, the famous Soviet attack aircraft of the Second World War, but in a helicopter version, and achieved a unique model in several aspects, especially in terms of its protection and maneuverability. It has also been the world's first helicopter equipped with an ejectable seat, which we will explain how it works later in a new video from the Aeropedia of a World of Aviation. This family of helicopters was born from the KAMOVB-80 concept. As it was liked by the Soviet Council of Ministers, mass production was ordered in December of 1987. After the initial flight tests and system tests, the Council ordered the first batch of helicopters. In 1992 years later, it received the name K-50. And the fifth prototype painted black played a leading role in the Russian film called Gionia Akula, or Black Shark in Spanish. Sticking with this nickname, In November of 1993, four production helicopters were transferred to the Army Aviation Combat Training Center in Torchok to begin field testing. But due to the collapse of the Soviet Union, which led to a defense budget cut, only 12 units were built out of the 100 initially projected. Then, the production of the K-50 was restarted in 2006. To improve the pilot's survival possibility, both the K-50 and the K-52 are equipped with a Svezda K-37800 ejection seat, which is an uncommon feature in a helicopter. If the pilot needs to eject in an emergency before the rocket in the ejection seat ignites, the rotor blades are expelled by explosive charges in this rotor disc. Then, the cockpit cover is expelled and only then can the pilot eject. But all this happens almost at the same time, in practically one second. Other survival features include the design of two engines for redundancy, meaning they are twin-engine helicopters but can perfectly fly with only one if the other was damaged in combat. It is a design of a coaxial rotor attack helicopter. It has a maximum takeoff weight of 10,800 kilos and a combat range of 470 kilometers with internal fuel tanks. Its maximum speed is 315 km per hour and it has a 30 mm cannon with a total of 460 shots. Plus, four attachment points for carrying a large combination of weapons that can tilt up to 10 degrees. Like other Kamov helicopters, it features a counter-rotating coaxial rotor, which eliminates the need for a tail rotor with its advantages, 
such as improving maneuverability and not reducing engine power by not having to counteract the lateral rotation force. The K-50 and its modifications have been chosen as the support helicopter for the special forces in Russia, while the Mil Mi-28 has become the main combat helicopter of the Russian army. The Kamov design team presented a proposal to develop a dedicated helicopter to carry out reconnaissance on the battlefield, provide target designation, and support and coordinate operations of other helicopters. This led to modifying the K-50s to accommodate a second crew member to operate the Optronic Reconnaissance Suite and Radar. Thus was born the two-seater K-52 version which looks like another aircraft because it has a softer nose profile where the radar system for both ground and low speed aerial targets is housed and thermal observation systems and day and night television were also installed underneath in two turrets. Another major difference between the 50 and the 52 is that the former had four anchor points and the K-52 has six anchor points. The manufacture of the first cell of the K-52 alligator, as it was called, began in the mid-1996. But it was not until 2010 that the first units began to be delivered. The idea of the Russian Air Force was to acquire 146 K-52 helicopters by 2020. Its external anchor points allow it to house an arsenal composed of 12 radar or laser-guided anti-tank missiles, up to 80 unguided rockets or also external fuel tanks, just to give an example of the great load capacity of these helicopters. Another version was the K-52 K Katrin, a navalized derivative of the K-52, but for the Russian naval aviation. Its features include folding rotor blades, also folding wings, and a life support system for crew members who fly in emergent suits. The fuselage and systems receive a special anti-corrosive treatment and it has a new fire control radar that can be used with anti-ship missiles. Of the few combat entries that are known to have had, the K-50 took part in the operations of the Russian army against the Chechen separatists in 2001. The K-52 helicopters were seen deployed in support of Russian military interventions in the Syrian Civil War in 2015 and the offensive in Palmyra in 2017. Egypt, for now, was the only export customer of the K-52. Until a new video, don't forget that you can request the aircraft you would like to see. I also invite you to subscribe if you haven't yet. And click on the bell so it will notify you when I upload a new video. I'm Marcos and this is the world of aviation's Aeropedia.